Bearded Bros Golf Show, back at it again. I'm Rod. And I'm Marcus. Yep. So let's go into the Alice Fitzpatrick bag. So on the full swing from this year, um, I was hoping that him and him and Matt would have competed a little more sufficiently in the uh, Zurich this week. But, you know, they made the cut. Uh, Alex is starting to get some run over on the DP World Tour, uh, has made it through the Challenge Tour. So I just want to review his what's in the bag. You know, some small things. We hadn't been able to do one of these in a little bit because there hadn't been a lot of just brand new winners out there. Nelly right. and... Um, and Scotty, Scotty were just tearing it up, and and we we did their what's in the bag. So you know you don't just keep redoing it. So let's pull it up here. So Alex Fitzpatrick, um, mixed bag. So you see a lot of different clubs in the bag. Clearly mm -hmm. not sponsored by one particular brand or not. Um, so let's go through it. So driver rocking the ping G430, one of the most popular drivers out there right now. This year's version, the low spin version at 10 and a half. And it yeah. didn't look like he deviated from that 10 and a half. You're not seeing a lot of tour players rocking that high aloft in their driver. So I'm going to trust that that's the one. And he is definitely a Fujikara Ventus fan. So we'll see that throughout his bag until we get into the irons. Any uh, comments on that uh, the driver there? Um, yeah, 10-5. Ten 10-5 five, ten five kind of shocks me, but might not have just the, you know, prototypical upward swing with four degrees of up that he's hitting and it's probably just zeroed out to where he needs a little bit of help. But, yeah, other than that stock stuff, I mean, you can't go wrong with the G430 low spin. I mean, no, it's a winner in everybody's book, whether you're bad or good. So you might as well very you know, stay a leg up on that. Is very forgiving. I finally, you know, I had been demoing the club for almost a month. I finally yeah. went in and decided I was going to make the final purchase on it. Um, it's in the bag, the same Look LST version that I, I finally did it. I, I I played some of my best rounds with that driver in the bag. And yes, the irons were coming around, but it, it made sense. You got to get off the so. tee. And I just kind of skipped over the three wood. I'll come back to that. But he's also rocking the 430 hybrid. Again, the Fujikara Aventus with the HB10 uh, Tour X Flex in that one. Ping, Ping Woods, ridiculous. I've said it before. I'll say it over and over again. It doesn't matter if you go back to the 410 series before that. I'm rocking the 425 series in my three wood and hybrid. You have the 410 in the bag. These clubs are amazing. They're hot. <laughs> the hybrids are particularly hot. You're going to get some some yardage out of them, and they're incredibly straight. Um, just ridiculously good hybrids that they make, and three woods. So pretty unremarkable there. Standard stuff. Um, let me throw in this one comment here from Andy, our boy Andy Holt. After watching the Fitz Bros uh, episode on Full Swing, hard not to pull for Alex. Seemed like a very humble kid and wants to succeed on his own. Yeah. Wants to kind of get it out of the mud on his own. Yeah. He is likable. He is likable. Yeah. Um, you know, and you can understand the struggle of kind of living in a, a shadow. You know, older brother's shadow. He's so, got to get out of that, out to spiteful, him. that spiteful yeah, and little I, brother I, thing. <laughs> and I hated that last year during the Zurich, they were pulling so hard for him and Matt to win it so Alex could get his tour card. I'm actually kind of glad that that didn't work out. Right. And he's been able to kind of go get his own accolades and status without the kind of assist from Big Bro. So I love Absolutely. that. So in his uh, three wood, he's rocking the TaylorMade QI-10 at 15 degrees. Again, pretty stock. Um, we've been seeing people rock the lower um, lofted, three woods, the uh, mini driver, the burner, or mm -hmm. just set at 13 or 14. So like you said, I think he's probably a zero, you know, degree, you know, player at a, his attack angle. So he's, he's going to need some help to get it up in the air with the uh, Ventus TR black um, seven Torex sh uh, shaft there. Pretty standard stuff. Um, again, no, no bag sponsor. He's just kind of rocking, what works for him. 
So we jump back into the ping, um, just a two iron, this ping I crossover, two iron, Fujikara Ventus, HB Black, um, nine X shaft. I thought this was an interesting club. I have never seen this club before. <laughs> what do you think, man? Um, driving irons are really good. I mean, I'm just really trying to understand the bag at this point. <laughs> You go driver, three wood, hybrid, driving iron. Why do you have that many clubs that like really you're using like using off the tee? I if you have a two yeah. iron crossover, that's your that's your high lofty club. That's your low stinger. I don't need a hybrid if I have a two a driving iron, especially if it's two two because well you know what I'm thinking from my bag. My hybrid is a 19 degree hybrid. I feel like that's super low lofted. I could hit that as a five wood if I wanted. So if I'm really yeah. crunching out my 19 degree hybrid, um, it's going to give me 240, 245, you know, 250 if I really want to, if I really want to go at it. I don't need a, necessarily a driving iron and a hybrid if they're going to be, you know, very comparable in degrees and trajectory. Just really just yeah. trying to understand that. I mean, you know, I think the the he, one thing that kind of not though. count not to counter that, but I'm, there looks like there may be some adjustability in this particular club. Um yeah. I don't know if it shows up well on the screen, but there's some notches here around the neck of this club. So maybe he has the ability to change move lives. it around. Yeah. yeah. I mean his two iron was set at nineteen degrees. So I don't know. Maybe he plays this as a three. Who knows? Um, I mean, his hybrid could be twenty one or something like that. He could be using that as like a hard four iron or something like that. You never know. Again, yeah, he's a field player. He talked about it in full swing. He's not. He's the complete opposite of number based as Matt Fitzpatrick is. He doesn't keep the yeah. Excel sheet. He says he plays with what feels good. His grip is wonky. Like, I mean, he, you could just tell. He, he just goes with what's cool and what looks good to him. So that's fine. Yeah. I'm just trying to understand. Yeah. And and I have uh, the other – it looks like he's playing the um, <laughs> the hybrid kind of at – he's playing it at 19. Um, let me see if I can quick switch. Just a quick – uh, well, I, well, if they're both 19, then I guess the driving iron is just really like the one he's using off the tee. The hybrid is the one where he feels like he can get that to get up and have spin to land softly, like on a 240 or 250 yard part three or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe he's trying to yeah, use it to go, go into greens. Who knows? It's interesting. It's just interesting that it almost feels like it's a redundant club in this bag. But you right. can see here, he's got it set on the 19 um for that hybrid so who the hell knows who knows what he's doing there um, he does he does <laughs> right <laughs> we're not gonna <laughs> argue with uh what he's got going on sorry so, alex my bad bro my fault let's jump back so he's playing the titleist four through pitch and wedge uh the t100s love the t100s it's a beautiful club um yeah. Down by the ball, top line, amazing. Uh, with the Nippon NS Pro Modus 3 Tour X, one or Tour uh, 120X shaft. I like this shaft, I like the weighting. Um, it'll be interesting when it comes to his wedges as well. So, any comments here on the, the irons and shaft choices? You know, we're, we're talking about um, pro shafts. And very common amongst the tour guys. Um, Pro Modus, not one we see all the time. So very happy to see that. I mean, yeah, the guy see, that truly knows up. what works best for him. Yeah. Also, um, Bobby had a comment. very shocked, Go ahead. shocked that he's not two, two T-150s. You can put up the, cap, the comment. I think I'm surprised he's not T-150s. It's a little bit stronger lofted. Help him out a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. To kind of bore in, get it, but... You know, the lo the lower loft might also be what keeps him from doing that. Might need, True. again, that help going back to it. So Bobby says, my two iron Callaway Apex 18 degree Ventus HB 10X has replaced my three wood. 
Interesting. Hit it 260 to 275. These two irons don't play. LOL. His bag is crazy. One for high loft and one for low loft, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. That, that's the only thing I got. If you got two clubs with the same loft, one's gotta gotta one's just gotta be popping up for you, however you play it. And then or it's gotta be the one that you're using to go into greens because it's carrying more RPMs or something like that. But otherwise, yeah, yeah. just just very wild. <laughs> so then it goes into the wedges, right? We've been used to seeing, I mean, these are, again, this is, okay, so this one's interesting. I, I liked the, I liked his bag for different reasons. As we look through other bags, seeing somebody now playing the SM10s, again, these have not been widely adopted this year. We've seen, right. We I think Scotty's still playing the SM8s or SM9s. You're seeing a lot of SM9s. Again, this is an every two-year release cycle. Not yeah. a lot of players have put the SM10s in the bag. Um, so here he is rocking the 50, 56, 60 standard lofts. And, you know, the the bounces are pretty standard as well. Nothing just super crazy. W what I did find was interesting was the weighting on his wedge shafts. Typically, we're seeing guys go a little bit heavier in the wedge shafts. 130, 140. He's at 120. What do you think about that selection? Um, I think he is familiar with the motor shaft and he just wants to know, and he just for sure wants to stay with what he knows. I feel like if he's just a field player, then this is what feels the best to him. And he's like, you know what, if we're going to stay in one class, let's stay in this modus 120 X. And I don't know. It honestly feels to me like he might be trying to get into a little bit of the the same length type deal instead of the progressive, mm. the progressive step. That also might be something that he's trying to do, at least with the wedges, at least with the wedges. With everything else, yeah. he might be staying the same, but, um, I mean, he's already a little bit, you know, a little bit more compact in stature. He's probably like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, or something like that. So Yeah, he doesn't look like the tallest kid. Yeah, but I, refreshing to see something different. And also, I mean, 50 and 50, that's something you did too for the longest. A 50 degree to 56, that trips me out. But, you know, to each their own. <laughs> um, also, so for funny, him, bro. I think he uses it also just based off what he has. The 56 looks like he just uses that um, in the sand, or like, and he really doesn't use a 60 a lot. If I have a 60 in my hand, I want less bounce than eight degrees. I need that at four. But he's still got his at eight degrees. I mean, that's trippy to me. And he's got 12 degrees of bounce in his 56. Like, that is – Yeah. It's different. It's different. It's different. <laughs> it's, di uh, it's, it's very uh, unique. Bro is an innovator. Yeah. He's been thinking he through this bag. This isn't – Facts. This isn't something that he just uh, willy nilly came way, up he with. He is He's... a Matt Fitzpatrick brainiac. He just doesn't have the numbers, <laughs> you know? And again, the putter selection, and I think this kind of leads into one of the other points that I have later. Um, is putter Bedinardi SS16 DOS? We don't see a lot of Bedinardis on tour, um, right. at least not branded in this way. So a little full mallet. Not even the half mallet, full bulky out of the back mallet with the uh, alignment line, um, you know, standard. Me it had a metal um, face. Interesting selection. Again, out of the box. You're not your normal stuff that you, people you get a lot of stuff out of this channel, y'all. A little business knowledge, you know, a little technical golf knowledge, a little BS in here and there. You're you're in a well-rounded environment. <laughs> so, Absolutely. uh Hit that subscribe button. Hit that membership button. Um, we got you covered on all things golf.